feel the familiarity of your mat. Invite your eyes to close and settle in. There's a word in the yoga teaching, sadhana. And it refers to their spiritual practice. And lately, I've been thinking a lot about what that means. Is it our yoga practice? Is it meditation? They say the root sad means to reclaim that which is divine within us. Our power to heal and serve and uplift. One of the greatest teachers, spiritual teachers, Ram Dass, he says, at first you think your sadhana is a limited part of your life. In time you realize that it's everything you do. Make an effort here to bring as much awareness, attention, love, and grace to this practice, to every breath, every movement. Start to press yourself up. Into a tabletop position and let your breath begin to grow. Ground your hands right underneath your shoulders. Let your knees come underneath your hips. Start to deepen your breath right here. In through your nose, out through your nose. Before you even add in movement, just feel what it feels like to have your breath move through your whole body. Maybe you take a few exhales with your mouth open. Eventually the lips seal and the breath becomes this oceanic cycle of energy through your body, in and out through your nose. When you find this pattern, when you find this cycle, then begin to add movement. You can start with some simple cat cows. Maybe you even close your eyes to feel. Let it be sensual. Let your breath move your body. And then you might decide that you need something different. Some different movements, some twists. Maybe you're ready to come up to downward facing dog and take some movements there. Just allow your body to move freely right here. There's no right or wrong. Well, I will ring you, say I want you back, 
shop, park stop, see I never wanted that It's just inevitable wasted Twisted bitterness, I give her too much, she'll be your body needs this morning last few breaths to explore you will all meet in downward facing dog it's an inverted v shape hands at the top of your mat your knees lift off the ground and you can feel your whole spine extending bend your knees pedal out your feet you can feel that familiarity of your mat that feeling of home think about this journey your mat has taken with you and all the moments all the hardships you've gone through right here on this mat, whether it's in your house or at the yoga studio, the practice goes beyond the mat. It's everything you do. So you can inhale, come high onto your toes. Exhale, let your heels dip over to the right. Your hip might even dip down. Inhale, bring your Heels back up through center and exhale, dip them over to the left. Just feel that different stretch. Inhale. Slow yoga walk up to the top of your mat. Feet all the way up to your hands. Inhale, dig your heels down to the ground as you lift. Inhale, come all the way up, stand all the way up, arm circle overhead. Exhale, grab your left wrist, take a side bend over to the right. Inhale, back through center, reach tall. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, come back through center, take a nice big back bend. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Aware of each breath, inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, come to the bottom of your push-up, ride your breath all the way down. Good, inhale, scoop your heart up, look up. Exhale, lift your hips. Take three to five breaths here in downward facing dog. Some of you have little yogis with you and maybe your practice is just staying in that space of patience and grace of breathing and moving with them. And when you're ready, come to the top of your mat and begin again. Feel free to add in, take out whatever you need. Just get your spine moving. Good time, good time, good time we had.
Find your way up to Malasana Yogi Squat, top of your mat. Yogi Squat. Get your feet really wide, sink your hips low, start to wake up those sensations in your hips. Bring your hands down to the ground. You might even hop a little further back so you have some mat space in front of you. You can play with Vakasana here, lifting your heels up towards your butt, squeezing your core. And maybe you work on bringing your head down to the mat and loading your feet up, coming into an inversion. Take a few moments to play here. Vakasana, crow pose, headstand, handstand. Start to make your way down. The child's pose, sink your hips back towards your heels, stretch your arms out in front of you. Find your steady breath if you just lost it. In and out through your nose. Yeah, our spiritual practice doesn't always have to be so serious. It can include laughter and play. And it goes way beyond the four corners of these masks. Pull your low belly in, pelvic floor lifted, breath strong. Take three full ujjayi breaths right here. Moving into our second warm up. Plant your hands, curl your toes under, lift your hips high. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hop your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, sink your hips. Inhale, arms sweep up, Utkatasana. Exhale, take a side twist, open. Inhale, swing your arms back for center. Exhale, left arm go. Inhale, come all the way up and back. Exhale, wash it away. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, ride your breath down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hips. Step your right foot through. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Back heel stays lifted. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, turn to the side, Buddha squat. Cactus your arms, get really low. Then inhale back to the front, wrap your right arm behind your back, lift your left arm up, look over your right shoulder, reverse revolve crescent. Then exhale, cartwheel your hands down, come to the bottom of your push up. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, left foot steps forward, stay on the ball of your back foot, inhale, crescent lunge. 
A little more stability needed here. Exhale, Buddha squat towards the side. Both knees bend, arms cactus. There you go. Inhale, back to the front, left arm wraps, right arm lifts. Look over your left shoulder. Exhale, swing your arms down, bottom of your push up. It's three movements in your Surya Namaskar, letter B. Inhale, up the dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths here after the right and left side. In and out through your nose. Exhale, come up to the top of your mat. Inhale, look out for length. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, sink your hips. Inhale, you start with your chair pose. Exhale, right arm dips, open up. Inhale, back forward. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, bring it up, stand up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale to lengthen, this prepares you. Exhale, bottom of your push-up. Add a little hop back. Inhale, scoop up your heart. Exhale, lift your hips. Right foot steps through. You have three movements. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, get low Buddha squat. Turn to the side. Both knees bend. Inhale, sweep back forward. Right arm wraps. Left arm lifts. Look over your right shoulder. Take a twist. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Bottom of your push-up. Chaturanga. You're going to do the same thing on the left side. This is how we live. Oh, my, my, my. Got me feeling Good. so high. Let your oh, breath yeah, and your body so move. It's a nice right. dance oh, my, my, of breath and movement. Got me feeling so high, just like I'm never coming down. This is how we live. It. If you're looking for the problems in this world, you're going to find them. All you got to do is look out the door. If you're looking for that good stuff, it's already up inside you. All you got to do is just let it show. Come on, 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 come on. This is how we live in my mind. Yes, keep going. Nice job, Susan. Keep breathing. Keep moving. You this all look so great. Live. Stilo. I'm never solo. Partying is better when we got a lot of people. So check your ego. We all about the rainbow. Show me what's inside of your soul. I, 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 I. Come on, 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 come on. This is how we live in my mind. One more round, finish up one more round, right and left side. And then we're gonna meet in that Buddha squat, facing whatever way to face the computer. Right and left side, and then pause in that final Buddha squat. This is how we live my mind. A Buddha squat. Both knees bent. You're standing. 
How are we doing with audio, guys? Give me a thumbs up, David. Can we still hear? Everybody hear the music and my voice? Feel free to put in the chat feature if you're losing anything. We're going to take it up a little notch here. So from your Buddhist squat, step your right foot behind your left and tap your right hand. The right foot behind your left and tap your right foot down. Come back up to your Buddhist squat. Left foot behind your right, bring your hand down. Buddhist squat. You might add in a little jump. We're going to take it up a lot. Get our heart open. Start to go right here. I see that you like to ignite it. I see that you like to do the things that you shouldn't do. Go shout it. Baby, in your eyes, I read it. Then in bed, you like to get mistreated. You can try to forget, but you can't delete it when I eat it. Come, do I like como? Una descarada. Eso me encanta. Good. Come to the top of your mat. Stand tall. Stand tall. Bring your hand to your heart. Hand to your belly. Catch your breath. Woo. Feel that beating heart right there. Feel your body breathing, your heart beating, you're alive. So how lucky it is to be alive and to be together, even if it's in a different way. All right, we're coming back in one more round. If you don't want to do that movement, and I don't really care, you can dance on your mat, do jumping jacks, just something to get your heart beating. Maybe this is inspiring you to do the salsa. Whatever you want to go. Take it up another notch right here. Hand to your heart, hand to your belly. Oh, sometimes it feels just so good to move. <sighs> Even if we have to force ourselves into it. Right, our spiritual practice isn't sun A's, sun B's, it's meeting ourselves and each other with love in these moments. Less judgment and more love. Take a big breath in, reach your arms overhead, full vinyasa. Gather it all in, exhale, fold down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, ride your breath, bottom of your push-up. Let's build this final warm up. Up dog and down dog from downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, take your right knee. Think about going out and around to tap the outside of your right tricep. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, bend your knee, flip your dog, come all the way down and sit. Inhale, lift your hips, wild thing. Exhale, pick up your right foot and gently place it at the top of your mat. Back heel spins down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Lunging into your right knee. Right arm is reaching back. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Back heel spins up as you twist. Prayer twist, hands come to heart center. Right hand comes down to the right corner of your mat. Unwind and open up for a half moon. Exhale, bottom of your push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. That's the first layer. Let's do it on the left. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, bring it out and around, left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, send it up. 
Exhale, bend, flip, and sit. Wild thing. Your inhale lifts your hips up. You're flipping your dog first, then lift your hips up on your inhale. Exhale, left foot comes all the way to the top of your mat. Back heel spin down, inhale, reverse your warrior. Lunging deep in your left knee. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, hook and twist. Back heel can spin up in this twist here if you wanna get a little deeper. And then inhale, unwind, left hand to the left corner of your mat, right side of your body lift. Feel your shoulders and hips stack. Exhale, bring your hand down, step back, bottom of your push-up. Good, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Keep your momentum going. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, squeeze, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bend your knees, slip and sit. Your bottom touches the ground. And then you lift your hips up, inhale, wild thing. Exhale, right foot all the way to the top of your mat. Back heel spins down, inhale, reverse your warrior. Nice, Gina. Exhale, prayer twist, hands come to heart center, hook and twist, left elbow outside your right knee. Inhale, unwind, plant your right hand down and open up, left side of your body lifts. We're gonna add on right there. Now, exhale, bring your left knee down to the ground and sit all the way back for half seated split. So you're stretching through your right leg. Inhale, stand up, bring your left knee into your chest. Almost like a karate kid move here. Knee all the way up, arms are lifted. This is gonna be your cue that we're gonna switch sides. The knee that's lifted is gonna step all the way to the back of your mat, right into skandhasana, ninja squat. Sink your hips down towards your left heel. Right leg is stretching. Turn to the back, pivot. Right hand plant, inhale, sweep your left arm up, dragon fly twist. Exhale, plant your hand, come to the bottom of your push-up. That's the second layer. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're facing the back of the mat now. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, squeeze knee to elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, bend your knees, slip and sit. Butt all the way to the ground. Inhale, lift up for wild thing. Exhale, step your foot back to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. You can be a breath ahead, a breath behind. It's all okay. Exhale, prayer twist. Right elbow hooks your left knee. Inhale, left hand to the left corner of your mat. Open up right side of your body. Here's where we add it on. Bring your right knee down to the ground. Sit back, half seated split, stretch, and elongate your left leg. Inhale, spring back forward, stand all the way up. Right knee comes into your chest, arms can be lifted. Here's your cue to switch sides. The left foot is coming all the way to the front of your mat and you're landing in skandhasana. Good, plant your left hand down, inhale, dragonfly twist. I might be off on the right to the left. Exhale, bring your hand down, chaturanga dandasana. Let's add on the final layer. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, facing the front of the room, right leg lift. Exhale, squeeze, you know this first part. Inhale, lift, exhale, slip and sit. Inhale, hips lift, exhale, foot lands, back heel spins down, arms rainbow up. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, half seated split. Inhale, stand all the way up, left knee comes into your chest. Exhale, ninja squat to the back of the house. Pivot and turn, inhale. Dragonfly twist, your left arm is lifted. Here's the final few poses. Right knee comes behind your left for a Shiva squat. Get low, reach back with your left hand, grab your right foot, inhale, twisted dancer. The balancing pose, kick in to your back foot, right arm is reaching forward. Exhale, eagle pose. Release your right leg, wrap it in front. Right arm comes underneath. See if you can hook your toes behind your calf and squeeze in on that eagle. Keep the eagle pose, but inhale, take a back step. Lift and extend through your eagle. Exhale, unwind, dive down, standing splits. Lift your leg high to the sky. 
nose towards your knee. Take a couple hops up, handstand prep. Scissor kick your feet midair and then take it through a chaturanga. That's the whole flow. Walk you through the left. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, squeeze, knee to tricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flip and sit. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, set up for inhale, reverse through warrior. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, open up, half moon. Exhale, get really low, half seated split. Inhale, stand up, right knee comes into your chest. Exhale, right foot all the way to the front of your mat for skandasana. Inhale, dragonfly twist, right arm lift. Here's where we add it on. Exhale, Shiva squat, left knee behind your right. Reach back with your right hand, grab your left foot. Inhale, twisted down sir. Exhale, left leg wraps around, left arm under your right. Eagle pose, get low. Inhale to open up and stretch your eagle. Exhale, unwind, dive down, standing split. Couple hops up. Couple hops up and then touch around now. And keep breathing, keep moving. Your whole tribe is with you. I see you, Christine. And I see all the things you guys are doing on and off your mat to spread love and kindness. 
kindness. That is the practice. That is our spiritual practice. It's not just what you do in a limited part of your time. It's what you do in every moment. Yes, April. Bring your arms to a T and keep the lunge in your right knee. We're coming into warrior two. Warrior two, you're lunging into your right knee. Right arm is in front of you. Find that steady shape, that steady sensation in your legs, the, strong, the strength in your legs, but soften your shoulders and face. Oh, we have a cat practicing with us, too. We got kids, we got pets, we got cats. You can use it as a weight, Ken. Use it as a weight. Hold him up right there in your warrior, too. We are really seeing how strong. Right? This is our spiritual practice, how strong we can be. Not in these shapes, but in body and mind and spirit and heart.
and then walk your hands back to the front of your mat. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Find your breath. Lift your left leg high. Step it through. Left leg to the top of your mat and find your warrior one on your left side. Warrior two. So left arm in front of you, right arm reaching back. Right, we're seeing exactly what Ram Das would say. He said that spiritual practice is not a limited part of your day. It's not your yoga practice. It's not your meditation practice. It is the practice of loving and uplifting and healing, whatever that looks like. Sometimes it could be messy. Sometimes it could feel good and others it could feel really difficult. But we can breathe together through it all. Just as long Whatever it looks like. as you stand, stand by me. So now breathe deep to your heart and feel the strength that you have. Feel the strength that we have collectively together as a community, as a state, as a country, as a global community. All together. If the sky we look upon should tumble and fall, or the mountain should crumble to the sea. Sink your hips back, half splits, and straighten through your left leg. Slowly walk your hands forward, step your left foot back. Come into a tabletop position. 
and then we're gonna lower down into a sphinx pose just for a moment take your right arm and thread it underneath like you're gonna give yourself a hug and then start to lower yourself down left arm come in front of you like you're wrapping yourself to give a hug curl your toes under and send yourself forward keep walking your hands to opposite edges and then bring your forehead down to the ground By curling your toes under and shifting your weight forward, you'll use more of your, the weight of your body to get that shoulder stretch. Listen to your body, see what it needs. Maybe it's something different, but find a space where you can settle. your breath slow down, start to return to a more natural state. I was reading a, a piece of Steve's book recently and I shared it. And I think it's so important that so many of us are looking for validation. Are we seen? Are we heard? And never has it been more important than right now to let each other know that we see you. You are heard. And you are loved no matter what. This is our spiritual practice. Good job. 
start to unwind. Press both hands into the ground and lift up again, coming through that seal pose. Come all the way down onto your belly, all the way onto your belly. Clasp your hands behind your back. Take a stretch by clasping your hands behind your back. Opening, you might even press down through your legs to lift up and stretch that way. Eventually come back down. Take a moment before finding that shape on the other side. This time you'll pass through Sphinx and wrap your left arm underneath fur. Then your right like you're giving yourself a hug. Curl your toes under. Send yourself a little forward so your head can come to the ground. you chose something different then find the other side on that shape. Sadhana, your spiritual practice. It could look like laying in bed one day and giving yourself a rest. It could look like serving your community the next day. But it's always done with a place and a space of love. unwind slowly. Make your way onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Grab onto your feet. Take a happy baby. Open up your groin. And your... Give yourself a gentle rock from side to side.
Release your legs, let them fall to the corners of your mat. Let your arms open up to the side. Take up space. The year before Ram Dass passed, he met with East Forest to share some of his teaching. Maharaji, in my second visit to India, took me aside and said to me, Ram Dass, love everybody. And I said, I can't. My mind is full of judgments. He said, Ramdas, love everybody and tell the truth. And those instructions have been my guide to my sadhana.
Easy to get the judgment. Start to wiggle your fingers. Your toes. Reach your arms up and overhead. Gather your knees into your chest. Give yourself a well deserved squeeze. And rock to either side, pausing in a fetal position. Press your hands into the ground, sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Watch them go. Sending love and light to all beings. Let us practice this sadhana of love and truth. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Bowing to the love, the light, the divinity in you and me. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Annie got a bingo. Come on back. Hi to everybody. Oh. <laughs> Who's that, David? This is Leo. Oh, Leo. hi, Leo. <laughs> yeah, he's a sweetheart. I think all of our pets are exercising with us. Yeah. My, <laughs> There's my dog in Shavasana. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get, I had to bring two mats because she takes up one. <laughs> That's great. I, I, my, my computer keeps freezing. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've been doing practice, but I love you guys so much. Oh, you, love you too, Lisa. Hi, <laughs> Christy. Love you guys. See you, Ken. Okay. See everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Bye, Cindy. Bye.